at the forefront of being an artist, it's about kind of freedom. You don't become an artist so that someone can tell you what to do. Of course, there comes a point where you're working to deadlines and you have the same pressures as most other professions. But ultimately, it's about doing what you want to do. I wasn't brought up with a, in, in a household where there was art. I wasn't brought up in a town where there was much art. But I found it because I sort of needed it in one way or another. I work with installations and I, I think of them as arrangements of objects or relationships between the sculptures. So as soon as you, you work in that way, it becomes about the space between the works as much as the works themselves. So there's something when you create an installation or you use a, a whole room, you can sort of step inside something and move around inside it. And there's a sense that everything's sort of frozen in time. So it's like stepping inside a photograph. Everything's frozen, but you can move slowly around it. And that, that sensation really interested me. I mean, primarily I think about it in relation to landscape. It tends to be urban landscape rather than the natural landscape. Um, so in my mind, you know, for example, a suspended geometric ceiling that allows light to pass through it, you know, which, which surrounds a, an architectural pillar, for me that becomes like a tree, or it becomes somewhere in between architecture and nature. So I, I like that, that possibility where, where one thing can become another. So geometric kind of architectural forms can sort of refer to something natural. I often think of these landscapes as, you know, if I'd be traveling maybe on a train or in a car at night and you'd catch a glimpse of, of a, a sort of abandoned or a, an empty park space or a piece of waste ground and somehow illuminated at night they kind of, and seeing it for a moment, it, it kind of captured something kind of sort of romantic as well. So you had this collapse of the romantic and something much more urban and hard. And it was really that sensation that I wanted to, to capture.